Hey, welcome back. Glad to see you here. So in this video, we're going to be changing all the default PHP settings that are negatively influencing your WordPress website. You know all those times that you're trying to upload a plugin or you try to upload an image and it says you're exceeding the max upload file size? Or you've made a really big web page that has exceeded the max post size. So we're going to be fixing all of that and more in this video. And while we're in there messing with all the PHP settings, we are going to add a couple of PHP modules into the system that will greatly improve the performance of your website. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here in the back end of a WordPress website, I'm going to quickly show you one of the problems that is associated with having the default PHP settings. So if we go into media and we say add new, you can see here that once the page has been loaded, that the maximum upload file size is two megabytes. Now clearly that is too small for our website and we do need to enlarge that. Now on your server, that default max upload size can vary. But generally, it's never the maximum that you are allowed in your hosting package. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to log in into the C panel of our hosting package and then we're going to change the settings from there. So once we've logged into our C panel, what we're going to look for is something called Select PHP Version. So if we scroll down, generally you'll find it under Software and here you'll see Select PHP Version. If you don't seem to find the icon for Select PHP Version, what you can do is head over to the top Search and here you can type out Select and you should be able to see in the first result is select PHP version. So now that this page is loaded, you can see over here that the current PHP version for me is 8.1. If you are in one of the lower ones, then do go up to 7.4 and make sure everything's fine on your website. If you feel that everything's fine and up to date, then test out 8.1. If your website doesn't work, then just go back to 7.4. There are some plugins still that haven't actually catered for 8.1, so it's kind of a hit or miss. But if you're using general plugins that aren't too custom made, then you should be good to go into 8.1. Okay, so that'll be happy with the PHP version. We're gonna head over to the options at the top. In this page, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change all the options that we need to make our website run better. Okay, some of those options that we should actually be looking at is if you can see this max execution time, there are some servers that have it at 90 and below. I would recommend more at 300. I found that in most websites, it's a good catch point because sometimes there are just situations where a client is on your website and for whatever reason, the server just lags. It's good to have a longer max execution time just in case that you do have one of those fringe clients and that they have a better user experience. One of the things we're definitely changing is memory limit. I've already set mine to the max that I have in this hosting package. A lot of people have it at a lower rate. So just make sure it's the maximum that your hosting company will allow you. Another thing to change is max post size or post max size. Here you can see mine is set to two megabytes and that is that limit that you saw when I was trying to upload a picture. So here we're going to set it up to the maximum that I'm allowed and it's a 256 megabytes for this hosting package. Another thing that you want to set to the maximum as well, the upload max file size. Here you also want to have this set to the absolute max that you want and here it's at 512. I'm going to set it to the one gig. Don't worry about saving because everything is auto saved for you. Now we're going to go back into the extensions. Now remember I said there was those two PHP modules that we wanted to load into our system. The first one is under I and it's that I magic. It is one of those dependencies that WordPress loves to use. So we're just going to enable it. So we do have that option in WordPress. And then the other module that makes a big difference to the speed of a website is if we head down to O, we must make sure that OP cache is enabled. If this isn't enabled in your website and you enable this, you'll be amazed how fast your website can really go. So once we're happy with all these settings, all we have to do is just close the window. There's no save button to press or anything like that. If for whatever reason you are having a lot of difficulty with your website, you do have the option if you come back into this window to reset to default and then everything will return back to how it was in the standard setting. So you don't have to worry about breaking anything Thing on your website okay so that's all the different settings that you need to modify within php which will really boost up your experience within wordpress and really free out from the bounds of the hosting package so if you're ever struggling with max upload size or max file size then this video is definitely just going to sort all that out for you i hope you like this video if you do have any suggestions or anything just leave a comment down below and let me see what i can do and with that i'll see you in the next one cheers